Well, we all love having fun in the sun, and it's important to remember the damage that those UV rays can cause. And here with some amazing tips to help keep us safe is board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Sonia Batra. Welcome, doctor. Thank welcome, you. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, so you brought a UV scanner with you. I did. And what does the UV scanner do? So it's a camera that actually filters out the visible and longer wavelengths that we usually use when we're taking pictures and only allows the short wavelengths to be detected, and that's the UV that's even shorter than the natural visible visible wavelength spectrum. So what that does is it actually accentuates anything that's darker, like dark spots that have yet to really be visible in the naked light, um, wrinkles or texture changes that are coming to surface. What it doesn't do is show you where you're going to get skin cancer, but it can definitely show you some of the damage we don't realize is actually already occurring. Did you, is that exactly. a precursor to skin cancer though, if you it's, see an area that has severe damage? It could be, but not necessarily. I really don't want people to go to the mall and think that if they can get scanned yeah. and everything looks okay, that they definitely not don't get have it. skin I'm cancer. Flip side, if they yeah. see there's a lot of skin damage there. It's it's a good kind of warning sign or wake up sign that probably you should be a little bit more diligent about your sun protection, seeking shade, your sunblock, and sure. sun protective clothing. Right, we're going to see that in a few minutes, but my, yeah. what we're going to see and when you see underneath this, this skin mm -hmm. is that is what's going to come out eventually and we'll have skin dark like that? It Well, sort of. It's already there and it's actually percolating. We just don't oh, see it in percolating. visible light. Okay. So so it's actually just showing you what's our, the damage and the discolorations that's already again. occurred. Right. Exactly. So you scanned some of our family members earlier I did, today, right? Yes. And I know, Kim, you were just on vacation, which yes. typically means you want to be out in the sun and yeah, enjoying yeah. it. Did you have that sort of vacation? Yeah, or? and you know, I grew up in Michigan and I used to put um, baby oil and iodine. Yeah. Yeah. Put yeah. Oh, so we all did. With, yeah. um, yeah, yes. with yeah. reflectors, well, I and I would just bake. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. And I hear, doctor, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but light eyes and light hair, it tends to be even worse if you don't use protection. Correct, because you have less protective pigment there, so you're much more susceptible to burns and to redness, which is the damage that ultimately leads right. to skin cancer. So maybe we'll skip me and just go right now. <laughs> we want to know how it works, and we're going to look at this uh, scanner right now, and you'll, yeah. you'll explain to us what's sure. going on. Absolutely. So, so what are we looking at? So this is the actual UV camera that I used, and this this was actually called an Esprit camera. It was courtesy of Farragut Medical, who are kind enough to let me bring it because it's portable. And so you can see here, Kim's putting her head into the scanner, and then it's going to actually flash oh, UV light. Lord so you see the photo there with the UV light. And um, then we're actually kind of changing the saturation there so you can see all the damage that is highlighted by that short wavelength UV light. So it's just um, like a discoloration, almost like, um, Girlfriends of mine have pregnancy masks where it's just a little bit darker. Yours doesn't it's, look so bad though. Did you? Did so if you look at the black and white photo, I'm not sure if we can call it up, but you can see a number of freckles and discolorations yeah. that um, have yet to come to surface because if you look at her she's beautiful you don't yeah. see that textural right. or that color irregularity mm -hmm. and there's actually a black and white photo that really kind of accentuates it and shows oh, it so that go. on the on one side you see in just oh. natural light how even and how uniform yes. she looks when you see it in the UV light and remember UV is what's damaging us day to day it's what's coming from the sun and really coming down and causing those cellular damage and mutations that ultimately lead to the brown spots to wrinkles to skin cancer. In this case, you're seeing what has yet to come to the surface in terms yeah. of the brown spots. And you know, spots. can I just say one quick thing? I know we want to get to others, but I do see that it's on one side, and this is the side I drive on. Exactly. And I never, if you go in the car, you're not going to be out. I'm going to lunch yeah. with Christina yeah. or coming here. I never put right. sunscreen on. And, and sure. so actually, that's a perfect yeah. point because oh. a lot of people think that glass filters UV, right. but it actually it. only filters UVB. So UVA, which is the much longer, more penetrating, more damaging wavelength, oh. actually is not filtered by glass, it's not filtered by clouds. So that's something that people often think, oh, it's an yeah, overcast day, but that's really well, only absorbing yeah. the shorter wavelengths. Let's, let's take a look at Matt's yeah. now. Yeah, so we'll look at Matt. Matt, unfortunately, you um, definitely had some souvenirs yeah. wow. from years of sun exposure. Oh. So you can see in just regular visible light versus in that short wavelength UV light how much discoloration is occurring there. And even if you were to close up and look at his lip, you can even see along the vermilion, oh. the pink of his yeah. lip, there are a number wow. of freckles, freckles and discoloration. So, you know, I'm but, looking at that, and yeah. it looks like Matt has He's a lot of really cool. cute freckles. Yeah. So freckles <laughs> are not cute when we're older? No. So, no. <laughs> so freckles when you're older really a sign of sun damage. Damage. Oh. And so not quite as endearing as cute. And just kind of signs that at some point you got enough UV and enough I'm sunburns. I'm done. I'm full. Yeah. That, well, that the good news is for that photo, if I ever auditioned for The Walking Dead, I'm <laughs> 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 All right, let's take a look at Paige. Paige? Mm. All right. 
All right. I'm scared. Okay. Okay. So oh, Paige not also, bad. you know, very uniform, lovely invisible light, and then yeah. just in the UV light, you can not see bad. some discoloration, not as bad. And on the bright side, you know, sometimes if you've ever done anything like a chemical peel or been more um, used a laser, that can sometimes reverse some of that damage. I'm also going to talk about products that help mm -hmm. with that. Wow. So oftentimes we get better images of women because they're more likely to have used products at some point along the way or used their sunscreen as opposed okay, to ladies, men. Okay, ladies, enough about so, you guys. What do I need to do? <laughs> so, so so to, to preserve the money maker. So, exactly. exactly. So, so I just made this up. I usually tell my patients about the ABCs of skincare. The A stands for antioxidant, and everybody's throwing around this word. It has to, you know, applies to your diet as well. But the idea of an antioxidant, it's usually an unstable molecule like a vitamin C, vitamin E, ferulic okay. acid, and it's mopping up all that oxidative damage. When you're out in the sun, you're getting that UV. It causes reactive oxygen molecules that are actually damaging your cells and causing that mutation that leads to skin cancer. Mm -hmm. Antioxidants, I brought a couple in with me, are really good because they mop up. This one has C and E, this one has another antioxidant molecule that can mop up that free radical damage. Now the B we already alluded to is for block or for sunscreen. Mm -hmm. And so I usually recommend the mineral sunscreens, which are zinc oxide or titanium dioxide based because you never have to worry if they're broad spectrum. They block both the UVA, which we talked about not being filtered by glass or clouds. They also block UVB. But if you are using a chemical sunscreen, just make sure it says somewhere on the label that it's broad spectrum. Because remember with an SPF rating that we all kind of know, it's only referring to UVB. So a lot of people think that if it has a high SPF, it's actually tremendously protective, but it won't necessarily block that UVA, which we know, as you already pointed out, is just as damaging coming through the glass. And the C stands for and the C, C, I told you. <laughs> the C stands for, listen to your dermatologist. No, yeah. it stands for cell turnover, which just means if you're really thinking about reversing that sun yes. damage, you're going to use something that's going to accelerate cell turnover like an alpha hydroxy acid or a retinoid both of which help with fine lines with brown spots they stimulate more collagen so those are some of the tools that you can use at a product level just to kind of help reverse wow. some of the sun damage that's already accrued so mopping up ongoing damage preventing further damage and then mopping up what's happening thank you already. doctor thank you so, so, like, like more you. tips yeah. Yeah. all just of these simple. products you can visit botraskincare.com thank you and a lot of great information we're going to visit page yeah. that's right Yes, it's not going to be in the sun. It's going to be in the bathroom. I'll show you the latest <laughs> trends coming up in bathrooms. Man,